men at but the Republican Jewish coalition asking seven long serving Democrats to resign this week, claiming that they have ties to Louis Farrakhan, who had a message of hate again two weeks ago. Here's a portion of this issued statement uh, saying this. There can be no question about how important it is for these Democrats to be connected to Louis Farrakhan. Farrakhan is first and foremost a preacher of hate, asking Congressman Carson to resign. And we wanted to give you the opportunity now because this has been getting into the yeah. news now. People have been asking you to respond. Yeah. What do you tell people that are seeing all of this talk? Well, uh, that organization doesn't have any credibility with me. I know they have a political agenda. Yeah. The Congressional Black Caucus is asking that organization to condemn Benjamin Netanyahu mm -hmm. and the government for discriminating against Africans who are migrating, who are fleeing dictatorships, who are fleeing oppression. There's a great deal of bigotry and racism happening mm -hmm. right now that they failed to condemn. Secondly, um, my record has shown that I've spoken out against anti-Semitism, homophobia, Islamophobia, xenophobia, all of the phobias. Uh, there was a, a report that I attended a meeting. Uh, That's uh, the key. They said that you were at a meeting with Louis Farrakhan and he's anti-Jew, anti-gay, well, anti-white. Well, so, and so, so they want to... I, I, I have met with him as have other members of the Black Caucus, but there was another meeting with the Iranian president. I was mm, not there. Okay. The That's organization that put it together put my name on it mm -hmm. as they do other members without asking us, and that's how that confusion happened. But I've met with him, as, as other members of the Black Caucus have met with him, talking about anti-crime efforts, uh, discrimination against women, and those mm -hmm. kinds of things. But I condemn any form of discrimination, and I've been consistent. Okay, thank you.